Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make different fillings for some volivants. So keep watching the whole video to find out what different things that I put in mine. So I hope you try some of these. They are lovely and it's just something a little bit different to do with your volivants. And if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel. It's free of charge and it just lets you see videos every Wednesday. And just to give you a gentle reminder, hit that notification bell to remind yourself. Now, with the puff pastry, you can make your own, of course, or you can buy the ready-made. And this ready-made one is already rolled out for you. Now... You've got two different types of cutters here as you can see one is slightly smaller than the other one and that's what you need two different cutters so we'll start off with cutting some large ones volivants are really easy personally i just kind of get bored with the the same types of filling which is usually chicken and mushroom so that's why i've decided to show some different types today so i've got four here and on these four i'm going to put these smaller so you can cut into this one and remove that inner part. So we'll do that for four of these. So we'll just remove this outer part that I don't need for the minute. Now we just want to crack an egg. And then we'll just give this some quick mix. And then we're going to get a brush. You can use your finger if you like. And I want you to just egg wash the pastry pieces, the big ones. And this just gives the pastry a lovely glaze. And then we're just going to place these ones on the top like that. And I've actually got one missing, so I'll just go and get that one. And of course, whatever thickness you want on the outside, you can change that depending on what cutters you're going to use. So play around with what you like. I personally love a big section in the middle. It makes it easier to put your fillings in. Some people put a very small amount in the middle. So you're just going to egg wash these top bits of pastry as well to give that nice shine. And then I've just got a tin with some parchment paper and I'm going to simply put these onto there and put these in the oven and then I'll show you the different fillings that we're going to make. See, it doesn't take any time at all and that's ready for the oven. Right, so as you can see this is the lovely volivants taking them out of the oven. It has a lovely glaze on the top where I've put the egg on it. So this is our beautiful volivants. Okay, so what we have to do with the volivants as this middle section, you carefully just get a sharp knife and you cut around. And you're going to remove that middle section, the top of it, and this is the lid. And try and carefully remove it. If it breaks up, it's not the end of the world if you don't use it. And you just place that to one side. So we'll do it again with this one. So as you can see, that leaves the inside ready to fill. Now we're going to peel our eggs. And a trick to doing this is just to smash it on the worktop and then roll it. And then that way you're going to have all these little cracks in it. And then it just peels easily. See how easily that peels? Of course, it doesn't always work. There is the odd egg that might not. Most of the time, this does work. Right, so the, you can cut the egg up. I find personally the best way is to grate it. And if you kind of keep your fingers fairly flat, and kind of just push gently against the grater with the egg. You, you shouldn't cut yourself. Most people cut themselves because they're bending their fingers. But if you're leaving it fairly flat, there's no reason. Look, I'm touching that grater. I don't know if you can see, but I'm touching that grater. I'm not going to cut myself. People tend to cut themselves because they're like this. And that's when they do it and they're too hard. Just gentle pushing that egg against it. And when it gets to the end, as long as you're doing it nice and slowly not too hard, you won't cut yourself. And if you've got a few bits, just push it against it. 
and this way you get nice grated eggs which is perfect so we'll just put that into a bowl so with the egg you do need to put a bit of salt in with it just a small pinch of pepper you don't need loads and of course some mayonnaise just give this a mix around I cook some ham in the slow cooker and it always goes nice and tender in the slow cooker so what I'm going to do is literally just with my hand break it up into little bits it's so easy when it's this tender and then I'm going to add this into the egg mayonnaise just mix this around so basically egg and ham these are nice cold ones that you can do obviously there's hot fillings but for a party or something this is perfect cold fillings where people can just pick up with their hands you're just going to get a spoonful of the ham and egg and with another spoon just use that to scrape it off sorry it's moving about here so i'm trying to show you but slipping on the plate so just fill it up like that and then what you do is you just get the lid and you put it on so you can imagine lots of these with different fillings at a party it would look lovely so that's one idea right so we're just going to cut some spring onions to go inside our egg mayonnaise they're quite a big ones just cut in half and then just slice small chunks going across like that so you're getting little fine pieces right. then you want to just cut some tomatoes up into little small chunks so you've got little pieces like that and you put them into your bowl of egg mayonnaise right so now we want to cut a bit of cucumber up and i find just the easiest way is just to slice it in half along like that cut it in half again like that cut into battens and dice them and you're left with little cubed bits of cucumber and you add that to your egg tomato and spring onion mixture right so here we have another olive oil we're filling with the egg salad so we have egg cucumber spring onion and tomatoes and you just put the top on and there's another cold volivant idea so here we have some more ham which i've just kind of squeezed into my hand and made into small pieces and we've got i've using cheddar cheese but you can use any cheese you like and you just mix this all together so we'll just put this into a volivant now the easiest way i think is just to use your hand you can either have that served as cold or you can heat it back in the oven for five minutes and let the cheese melt. Again, you can leave it like that or you can put your lid on. And there's another idea for you. All right, so also another idea is with this cheese and ham, you could add some tomatoes. Again, just mix it around with your hand. We'll just fill it into a volivant. And again, you can have this hot or you can have it cold. And you can have it like that or you can put your lid on there's four different ways so far of volivants right so now we're just going to make some parsley sauce so i've got 20 grams of butter and so we'll just let that melt add your flour keep stirring have your gas or electric on a low heat so just cook this for about a minute then you add your milk a little bit at a time It'll get thicker again, but that's okay. That's normal enough. And add a bit more milk in. And it'll start to get a little bit thinner, but still be thick. And then add another bit in. And you don't get any lumps when you're just adding a little bit at a time. So for the 20 grams of butter, 20 grams of flour, you need roughly about 100 mils of milk. It can be a little bit of less or a little bit more depending on what you thickness you want and to that mixture we add half a teaspoon of parsley look at the lovely color to that if you find it's too thick just add a little bit more milk into it right as you can see this is looking lovely so now we're just going to add our ham into there and then just stir that around and that's ham in a parsley sauce so as you can see this is a lovely sauce to be mixed with the ham and you just get a spoonful of it and use another spoon to help you guide it into your volivant and that's another volivant idea you could add tomatoes to this if you wanted to 
or a bit of broccoli. There's there's a whole load of things. I'd love to hear in the comments what kind of ideas you would have. Five ideas that I showed you today. In a future video, I will show you some different ones with chicken. So I hope you try some of these. They are lovely. And it's just something a little bit different to do with your volivants. So give it a try. Thank you for watching today's video with Lifestyle with Sharon on how to make volivants and some different fillings. So I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.